I think it's time to get in trouble, guys. Hope you're having a good day. What's up, guys? I'm currently sitting right on the border of Massachusetts, New Hampshire. I've got a bunch of hours to waste because I have to go to Connecticut, down to South Carolina, and back to Connecticut tomorrow. And so, be running it like 1,800 miles in three days. But I'm sitting here with a lot of nothing to do, and of course, the church always does to keep me busy, and it gives me something to to smile at and enjoy. So figured I'd have a watch with you guys and just from the beginning you can see he's he's got the stuffed bird on screen and you know he, something about that just walking around with a, a stuffed you know he's making people feel inferior <laughs> I'm assuming it, the title is hate equals gold Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've never been here before, my name is... Fucking idiot! But you can just call me church if you want, or you can just call me... Fucking idiot! Beggars can't be choosers! Today, on this episode of... We're gonna talk about how people think they're my psychiatrist when they're fucking not. <laughs> Dude, that is... An entire group of people right now for everybody and every statement that's made by anybody it, somewhere along the way uh, I said this previously people have forgotten that old adage of you know if you don't have anything good to say and now they say everything that they shouldn't say <laughs> what you didn't know oh this is the most depressing YouTube channel on YouTube. I'll prove it. Watch. For only one view a day, and one like, and one share, from your video to your Facebook or wherever else, you can support this decrepit piece of shit motherfucker who don't go to work and stays up in LA because he's a piece of fucking shit. It's not rockets. Oh my god, we gotta help that guy! He's on drugs. He's a womanizer. He fixes boogers and eats them. He ate so many boogers, he's the buggy monster now. He only pops a wheelie on a four-wheeler for a minute, enough to take a picture, and then he tells everyone he can ride wheelies. He's faker. Faker! Fucking idiot! Alright, so... If you don't burp, where does a burp go? <laughs> you just blow my mind! Alright, so every few months, there comes a time where... I'm the horse! I have to remind a very, 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 very small portion of people that they don't make decisions for me. And I know... <laughs> So I'm kind of stuck. I don't want to bust out laughing, but he, he giving him the stink eye. That dude. That's a seriously old throwback. I know what you're thinking? Government created killer nano robot infection. Don't worry about them. Fuck them. Let them just get in the movie. <laughs> fuck Trump and fuck them all. I wish I could say that, but here's the thing about that. I'm the horse. If I let the small portion just sit there, the small portion of the people that come here do that, then that small portion will eventually be a medium portion, and then a bigger portion, and then a... And that's exactly what has happened to everything. And it's the one bad side to this wonderful world of the internet that we have, is that all of those voices that should have been drowned out because of the majority are now becoming stronger and stronger because they they can band together quicker and you get things like the flat earth theory which don't even get me started bigger portion so every time they slither into my youtube house i spray them with raid but like i said it's a very small portion but i don't want this portion to grow 
because then shit starts to get weird for me and for you, the one who gets on here and is like, ha ha, you dumb motherfucking church, like, see you tomorrow, man, deuces, I'm out, I'm leaving, I don't give a fuck about your videos until tomorrow, but that's just the real deal of some... Okay, I've got to pause for a second, I just saw something in the background, is that an Elvis figure? That completely off topic my sister my birth mother because I was adopted by my grandparents like 40 years ago gave me a radio that looked like that my that watches YouTube I mean I get all the people's shit and I watch their stuff I click like I get off and I go back the next day and check and see if they post anything else and comment what I gotta say and you know ask a question or two and then I dip the fuck out that's that's a regular user. The ones I'm talking about are people who are like, Hey, 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 you ain't answering. Hey, 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 question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Dude, you ain't the fucking same person. You used to be fucking piece of shit, fucking asshole. Or the ones who are like, Hey, I'm worried about your sleeping schedule. Like, what the f***? Worry about your own goddamn sleeping schedule. <laughs> and the reason I'm even bringing this up. <coughs> ah, I'm back to like. And the reason I'm even bringing this up is because I am gonna start banning you people. <laughs> that are doing this. If you say, oh, I'm a top fan, well, just being like, oh, I'm a top fan does not give you the right to fucking interrogate my fucking life. Your eyeballs look like you need sleep. You probably need to go to sleep because if you don't go to sleep, you could die. You know you could die from no sleep. You don't live with me. You don't. Dude. <laughs> You haven't had the right job, factory, if you think he needs sleep, you need to look around to some of the people that, that could really use sleep but have to work because they work swing shifts or, like me, drive a semi when you have to take sleep when you can get it. Sometimes that's normal hours, nighttime, sometimes you got to go to sleep 10 o'clock in the morning and sleep till 8 o'clock at night and start again. It doesn't always work. Not everybody's sleep schedule is the same. Not everybody sleeps as much as everybody else. Damn, people. I mean, you're not going to do it. I'm not going to let you do it. You know, I, I used to listen to your first two songs, and you made your third song, and I didn't like it. I don't like the first two, so I quit listening to the first two and the third one, because I don't fuck with you no more, bro. You done sold it out or something. Man, I caught a nice new truck. Woo, you big shot. Woo, was that 2019? You saved your money up for it for like a year to get it? How come you haven't demolished it and trashed the fucking shit out of it, huh? How come you haven't? You ain't a real mm. redneck if you don't fuck your shit up and disrespect it. I'm just gonna fucking ban you because I don't give a fuck. Me and Dave don't care. <laughs> oh god, he named it Dave. Plain and simple. Wendy's you know, gonna clap if you back. Know me, then you know I don't give a fuck. I ain't dealing with nobody coming on my shit talking about, uh, right, well, you know, you should really fucking go to sleep a little bit earlier. Uh, okay, Dad, fuck you. I'm gonna be, oh crap, what if I lose this person? It's been following me for three years. Oh man, I don't know what to type back. This is the third time this follower has told me to go to bed. I need to go to bed, and if I don't, then it's not healthy, and they can't keep watching my stuff. Fuck you. You go to fucking bed, motherfucker. You're not my fucking Dr. Phil, and I don't need a fucking Dr. Phil. Fuck you, Redneck! Another thing that I learned that I did not do, but somehow, I guess I, my personality just made it where I dodged a bullet. The personality of your videos will attract the people they have the same personality, which in my case has been great because I got a lot of smart ass motherfuckers <laughs> on my shit that are hilarious. I got people who can take shit from people, who can take a fucking joke, who can take somebody Thank else's God. fucking joke. I even got ones that can take horses down Old Town Roads. <laughs> but what I'm learning is you'll have a very small percentage of things that can run your life and tell you what to fucking do and manipulate you as a follower of your stuff. And they will. They'll say shit like, oh, I've been here for X amount of years and, and this, that, the other, but I don't like the way that you're da 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 Fuck that shit. You're making these fucking videos to either make someone laugh, make somebody learn something, or whatever the fuck have you. You're going to have certain people that come in there and claim to be this and claim to be that and say, they don't like the way you're doing shit. Fuck that shit. Because guess what? For every one motherfucker who don't like your shit, we, 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 there's going to be a hundred thousand motherfuckers that are like, man, fuck them. Do your thing, bro. Keep fucking making the videos yep. until you make them because that's what makes you you. No, man, that's a when you get in my comments, 
And you're like, you know, Ryan, I've been following you for some time now, and I think it'd be a great idea if you did this instead of this, because if you do this, I'm going to be angry that you didn't do this! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah! So sometimes you gotta nip it in the butt, dude. Once again, I'm not talking about 99% of the people. This is legit the 1%. Take Lacker Thinner Larry, for example. He has been a diehard fan for like four or five years. Don't get me wrong. I have fans from four or five years ago that I still talk to every fucking week. At least once! But the point of the matter is, it's gotta there be hard, is man. overboard people that watch people's stuff. I mean, look at Christina Grimmie. Uh, we've talked about this before. And that is the attitude that some of these fucking people have. So yeah, I am gonna say something about it. Christina was amazing. And what happened to her should never happen, but there, it, it's... There are loonies. Crazy people out there. And I'm not talking crazy like crazy funny or... It's crazy stupid. I'm talking about the people that will walk up and shoot you just because you got a hair out of place. You know? the, the real weirdos in society. And the problem is, is that the, especially for people like Church, who've gotten so big, those people start look for people like that because it gets them attention. And it's all an attention grab. And I can understand that, it, dude, his church's schedule's got to be just fucking insane to even be talking to anyone at this point I, I don't know where he finds the time because I don't want them getting so deep off into this you know whatever I, I don't know we, I doubt any of you guys know either because it's a certain mindset that only these type of people have the kind of motherfuckers that kill their favorite fucking YouTuber because they love him so much they just want to fucking kill him. <laughs> yeah, you see what he turned out like, right? <laughs> uh huh. We're good. Dude, that shit is fucking weird. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking weird. This is that's what fucking weirdos do. What Lacker Thinner Larry did, that's that's a weirdo, bro. A real one. I don't want those kind of people here. Sitting in his room talking about. Shut up, church. Did you see my last <laughs> Go ahead and check it out. Just go lay here in my bed and stick my hand on my pants and think about your next video you're going to make about me. Mm. Maybe we can make a man one day together, you know what I mean? <laughs> or I'll just wear your skin. <laughs> <laughs> skin! So yeah, the thing is, I'm not even talking about kids. I'm talking about a grown-ass fucking man who looks like Luigi. <laughs> Look, roll that video. Damn. So, Ryan, since you and your fans can't shut the fuck up. He's the goddamn definition of cringe. Ryan? He was grinded oh down God, Luigi. into fucking dust and put Mustache in isn't quite right, but it's close. To print in the dictionary the word cringe. Ryan? He is the word cringe. Here we are again. I mean, dude, look at this guy. Well, I was he looks like shitty dialogue for a cheap porno film. So yeah, girl, Ooh. I heard you're like, girl, you should really do that thing to the stuff, you know? Yeah, you know it, the stuff to the thing, doesn't it not sound not good? Hell yeah, I learned this new move too, just so you know. All right, what's the move not not called? It's called the reverse cowgirl that wanted to be a cowboy, so he got a sex change. Now it's a gender fluid cow that we're gonna be riding. Yeah, that sounds freaking hot. Yeah. That's what you look like, look like, not sound like, look like. And you sound and look like a shitty ass fucking police sketch from America's Most Wanted in like 98, motherfucker. You make the call, we make the capture. I found him. <laughs> Why you gotta stroke your, uh, stroke your cock? Come on now. You shoot cattle. Why well, you sound like a perv, Mr. Rogers? Man, just 
again, you're right, man. Keep doing you. Ban the weirdos just because they're looking for attention, man. Church, thank you, brother. If you happen to see this, man, just keep doing what you do, man. You, you make people like me happy a part of the day. And it, it takes some doing when you're out here this long. Yes, please go support church. That the man is just hilarious. His music is awesome. And he's a cool dude. Yeah. That, it's a kind of like part of my family. It's really weird. He reminds me of some of my nephews when they were much younger. Uh, I got to get up here and do a little bit of paperwork. I may come back later, but love you guys. Peace. And enjoy the 4th of July. I'll be on the road. You guys enjoy your fireworks, beer, brats, whatever you're going to do. Peace.